God called us to be apologists and prepared us to give an answer. If you are reading this it is because you desire to diligently present yourself approved to God, a worker who doesn't need to be ashamed, correctly teaching or sharing the word of truth. Or as the Apostle Paul puts it in 2 Timothy 2.15 we have come to learn to give an answer for the faith that is within us. You have a hunger for the word of God and want to become more proficient in sharing the faith that is within you. Perhaps apologetics is a word you are not familiar with, so what is apologetics? It is the religious discipline of defending religious doctrines through systematic argumentation and discourse. It is about the reconciled family business of adoption, and as his ambassadors or kingdom caseworkers of adoption, we are called to share so that the family of God may be increased with many reconciled souls from our community of influence. We are those who have been touched by his convicting spirit and have come to a full understanding of Jesus Christ by grasping the significance of the horrific price that he paid so that all who will believe may become adopted children of the Heavenly Father. An apologist is someone who, by exposing the inadequate justifications for another's controversial belief can offer a straightforward argument based on biblical reason and evidence against a particular unbiblical distortion or extra-biblical belief in question. Any teaching is worthy of trust, but only if it points to the truth. Pascal wrote that people almost invariably arrive at their beliefs, not based on proof, but based on what they find attractive. For this reason, we celebrate Resurrection Day on Sundays without giving much thought to the events that led up to it, thereby diminishing the great significance and merit that the Father paid through the sacrifice of His Son, paying our sin debt due and opening the door that His Spirit might transform us into acceptable adopted children. All of God's children have been called to pray for the lost that God places in our path sharing the gospel as we participate with his spirit and as the spirit lifts the veil of darkness so that the deceived may see.